Barcelona safely through to the quarterfinals after a 5-1 win over Lyon. Barcelona had a 2-0 lead. Lyon, though, got a goal back, which made it a little bit nervy in the early stages of the second half. Controversy, though, over Lyon's goal. VAR took a look at offside, but many thought, including the boys in the studio, in fact, there was a foul in the build-up to it. In the end, though, it wouldn't matter because Lionel Messi would turn it on with three assists and two goals to contribute very heavily, then, to Barca's 5-1 win. You know what? So who's better, Craig? <laughs> oh, do you know what though? I just, let me just, let's just touch on that bar, that that uh, Leon goal because it, it took the game to two one, mm -hmm. and that meant they were one goal away from going through on yeah. the away goals. So it, it could have had a, a big consequences. Now, everyone else thought it was a free kick at the back post, with the player clearly with two arms over the shoulder, not allowing the defender. I think it was Longley to jump. And this, this is the whole frustration with VAR. They go and check it because it's a goal and they have to check, and they're looking at the offside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. if you can't see that obstruction, or infringement. You shouldn't be in that booth checking it. Or the other scenario, if you're saying, well, it wasn't clear and obvious, they've got to change the rhetoric and the writing of this law because it's either a free kick or it's not. Mm. Right? Now, it didn't have consequences because the wee man turned it on in the yeah. end and it, and it looked very comfortable. But for long periods, it wasn't comfortable. Yet we've still, and that's why we're going to be talking about this VAR for a long time, even when it comes in, because we've got human officials sat there and can't see simple calls. If only there was somebody here that could actually influence that. From the IFAB board. Mr. IFAB himself. We sit here and can go on about all this. You're the very man in position. What am I supposed to influence up. here? Well, what somebody is seeing on a camera and how they interpret you it? You can speak up. You're involved in the rules of the game. I was sitting next to you. You're involved speak in the rules who? of the game. <laughs> next time you get a chance, speak up. The rules are clear. It was human error in the booth. Uh, away from VAR. Anyway, Barca weren't greatly convincing. As, as no, not, as until, I, not until the third goal went in. Th that score line was flattering in the mm -hmm. end. But, as you say, not until the third goal went in, which, again, spells it out with PSG out, with, with uh, Real Madrid out, uh, that, you know, there's no clear favourite. All right, Man City might be the clear favourite, but you think, that we talked about it yesterday, they've not been over the line in this competition. Clearly, Barcelona have many times, but they're looking suspect at the back. Yeah. Well, we'll talk about who, who could go on and win it and who are favourites in a moment, but, Stevie... Messi, we need to talk about him, but it's like... Not left, too much. Left what to we say. We did talk about Ronaldo enough yesterday, according to what, what, Ronaldo fans. I mean, it's, it, it, it's just scary. Both him mm. and Ronaldo are just absolutely incredible. Yeah. They're, they're on a different planet than everybody else in their era. And, I, and it's, getting, it's getting harder every single time they do something else to try and explain it. You know, one gets a hat trick, completely changes it, rips the record books up, and then the next night, the pressure, everybody's looking at Messi, and he gets two and assists with three. I mean, we're running out of things you, to say. The only thing is, if you're Leon and you see Ronaldo score a hat-trick one day and you're thinking, oh, goodness, Messi's going to answer kind for kind, as he always does, you know what's coming. It's, it's scary, these two players.